Hello everyone, Michael here, and what was supposed to be a showcase of Ubuntu using the SE506 portable Blu-ray drive resulted in a tutorial for upgrading VLC and enabling it for encrypted Blu-ray discs. Now I do want to give credit where it's due, I got the upgrade tutorial from this guy up. I think I said his username wrong. If I did, sorry. Uh, the second part, though, I found out on my own. So let's go ahead and do this tutorial for upgrading VLC. And I'll put annotations on the side to when I get to enabling VLC. Now, what I have right now is VLC 2.0.1. Man, this is a mouthful. And if you're wondering, this is what happens when you open up a Blu-ray disc at this moment without upgrading whatsoever. It doesn't do it. Now there's certain libraries we have to install, especially a modified file, but we'll get into that in the next part of the tutorial. So close out of that, go to the Ubuntu Software Center, and open up Software Sources. Other Software and hit add. Now according to the guy on the tutorial there's two and one I highly agree with. He says to use this PPA for those who have 12.04 LTS. So should be in the description below. It's pretty much just copy and paste. Add source. Of course put in the password. Close close this and hit open up the update manager and the next part you want to do is just do check and doing so should enable uh, this thing to upgrade VLC to 2.0.2 now the reason why I didn't say this this is in fact the official PPA for VLC but I had problems with it when I installed it, the thing just will not install. It says that the packages were broken. It, it just messed everything up. And it took me pretty much two hours just to get everything back to normal. So this is highly recommended for Ubuntu 11.10 users. According to the guy in the video, I highly agree with. Because this one, if you use in 12.04, you're going to have an extremely hard time. So for 12.04, 12.04 users use this. 10, 11.10 users use this. And we're back to this. As you can see, it all wants to update, so let's go ahead and install updates. Now, doing this shouldn't take long. Don't know why it's updating Blender, but whatever, updates are fine. So once this is done, I'll show you guys how to enable VLC to play encrypted disks. But first, once this thing is done upgrading, I do want to show what it's able to do in 2.02 before doing the whole modifying thing. And it's done. So let's see what it does now when it comes to opening a disk. Play, browse, Star Trek open play still won't do it so okay there's apparently three ways to do this I'm only doing one because it's personally I think it's more efficient and much better uh, if you're wondering the first one I highly don't recommend because that's really involved and it also requires 30 gigabytes and memory just to play the disk not recommended Another way was installing these libraries, but unfortunately you have to pay for them, so not ideal. So the way I found, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. Now in the VLC forums, if you look into it, there was a guy that sends you to a link, which is vlc blu ray who knows my dot name very weird I wish I knew who made this website I really want to and really give him credit for this because this indeed works 
So this works for VLC 2. Point whatever. Pretty much if you have 2.0, you can use it and all that. So first thing is this keys database. Go ahead and get the file. Go ahead and save it. As you can see, I already downloaded it. I'm just doing it just because. Now I have a 32-bit Linux system. It really depends on 32. It may change, but I did find some things that uh, people might want to know. Okay, so first off, on the config ACC AACS, you may have noticed that it says it doesn't exist. Well, that's because it's true. In your home folder, it does not exist, but you can still add it because you still have config. So open up config and open or create new folder and name it AACS. Now you want to do is to go back to the download folder where you got the key DB, let's use this one because it doesn't have any one, and drop it into here. Now the next one is it's going to be going to system files. So let's open up the root neutralist, or in other words, the administer neutralist browser. And what you want to do here is well, go back, go to your home folder, go to your downloads, and locate the libaacs.so.0. Now, according to the site, it says you're supposed for 64 bit. I'm not sure if it's the same for 32, but uh, it says that it's usually under user that's lib64 that is not the case I actually found it somewhere else it's under user lib and x x86 64 Linux GNU out here uh, just go all the way down until you see it which is right here now I recommend uh, just for everyone's sake just to do like dot old onto the file so that way if something goes wrong you'll be able to put it back so go back to downloads and just put it right here so what would it do now well go ahead exit out of this VLC should be enabled to play blu-ray discs so open up disk blu-ray browse to the folder where Star Trek is or blu-ray disc open and hit play. Now you're gonna have to give it a few seconds for it to load load the disc. And voila! Star Trek. And it does in fact play it. Now I do want to point out, I don't want to show everything because I don't want copyright on on my butt. Uh, you can hit next, like change chapters and whatnot. This is actually very good. Uh, hitting this will actually reset the disk. So, that's how you upgrade and enable VLC to play Blu-ray encrypted disks.